Hello team and folks, welcome to another Gaming with Blockchain. Back-to-back you know, -back episodes coming your way. Uh, I'm your host, AmineU, and we are now looking at Alien Worlds. Alien Worlds just on the 29th has hit their 1 millionth player. That means there's a lot of explorers now mining on Upland, and which means that there's more features that have to be a little, uh, apply some tweaking. And that is understandable. So let's put it this way. Um, from the day one, all these developers, uh, which I found very remarkable, to have stated that you know none of these games are fixed as is, and that you know they'll always be looking at the game play and how the game is evolving, and if and and if needed, apply any required tweaks or uh, moderations or I should say alterations, depending on how you want to review it. And in this case, this is what they're looking to do. They've now realized that they, because they hit this benchmark, and the, and the more players that mine, the less trillion that's received. So they they uh, they realized that okay, well our our shining mechanism um, may not be something that's foreseeable for new players. So if you recall in the shining guide that we had discussed um, a couple of months back, just to do an abundant it will cost 500 trillion to to receive one gold in, ter in including the you know the uh, the abundance themselves so I did a calculation in my last mine last four mines and that's what I, I received in my last four mines uh, today and this is on average of about maybe one and a half to two hours in between that's my intervals so in a month, that's what my tally would be. To to receive the chance to shine an item, it will take literally five months, give or take, to, to do so. Now, yes, I've been a little lazy. Uh, I haven't, you know, optimized all my tools yet. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm actually looking forward to when you can set the bags and have the presets, so that would be cool. Uh, but again, that's that will evolve in time. But on average, if, if someone's doing this particular mine um, within a day or within whatever timeline it will take a while for them to achieve the amount needed to earn or have 500 trillion so that, so the creators and, and the um, co-founders have realized okay this is not going to be an attractive gameplay for a new user that okay I, I have to wait five months before I can shine any the most basic item what's the advantage there so they've, they're they looking to tweak it and which is a good call it's, it's again it's about evolving with the gameplay is not something that's fixed it's now looking at how can we make these changes as the game evolves because we now see as the numbers are pro proven, that something is going to give something. Something needs to be uh, modified. So that's great on on them for doing so. I wanted to show the voting, but the voting's not up yet. I thought it was, but it's not. So um, I can't vote, not just yet. But you can see there's more candidacies coming through. If you're curious about that, go take a look at all the uh, candidates that, that have been um, queuing in to become council on the board uh, so that's a one option as well and I already try to create my kind of short list of where we're going I don't know how many I have yet to determine how, what our votes capacity will be so if you are mining and you want to have a little bit more direction on how the, your planetary um, governance is being handled then I would suggest uh, staking if you haven't been staking uh, to the plan of choice because the, what you put into the staking gives you certain voting uh, potential and voting rights um, and how that's allocated that, that's yet to be determined so I would just be weary on that depending again how far down the rabbit hole you want to go some people just want to stake in order, in, in order to convert to another asset um, but we'll be touching on those bases a, a little later now what has happened also in the news is that they've hit to the point where they've received at one point almost half a million miners in a second. Now this is our, our Alien Words live mining map and so you can see right now if you just watch the screen and how it's just dancing like a Christmas light that's where the, the, the mining activity is happening and this is live like you're watching this live as 
live in terms of what I'm watching at this moment, and it's and the delay is about every f five seconds. So you can imagine if it's every second how how quickly the, the, uh, all this mining uh, potential can be. And now you can see too that the larger the circle, that means the larger of the reward uh, that has been given out, and you know, time I touch it, it's already gone most often, but you can you can get a sense from if you kind of compare it to any earlier videos I've done with the same live mining, the amount of congestion that was here hasn't been matched, and so the game is really really growing. And again, another game that has been taking the time and it's been it's been a, a war on bots, I should say, and. Upland was hit with it as well. Uh, Alien Worlds has been hit with it, and everyone's doing their best to kind of combat it and 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 make it fun for the for the players again. And and doing so has has improved the gameplay significantly. So now the last thing I want to show in this particular clip is unfortunately the the option to teleport. I wanted to show that what that teleporting would mean um, going to Binance. Um, I haven't had much luck. Oops, that disappeared. It wasn't meant to disappear. Uh, I haven't had much luck um, getting it into the Binance system as yet. It keeps telling me to stake tokens. Don't know why. Even after I click claim, um, I know Binance as well has had an issue with their API, and things are very slow. So I'm. I just did this before this recording, so I'm going to wait and see if maybe by a few hours, if it has panned out well. If not, then I'm just going to convert that that trillion right back, and I'll and we'll leave it at that. I'll wait till they actually fix and address that situation as well, because I, I want to lead to options moving forward in what's happening from the overall system. What does it, all of this mean in the gaming f gaming sphere? So I'm hoping in this you'll find this information great. I'm hoping you're you're doing your mind again. It may seem like your minds are insignificant and very small, um, but like anything, it's it's being a little more diligent and resilient to the behaviors of what the the general crowd um, states. You know, the general masses will t always say, "Oh, follow the crowd. It's a scam." And I'm like, I'm here to tell you, it's not. Simple as that. It's not. Um, so. If you really enjoyed the game, I'd definitely like to hear more from you. I mean, like I'm getting a lot of feedback and a lot of interest in 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 the con content. So I appreciate all all the your all the new eyes and new viewers. Thank you. And I'm hoping you're enjoying this. I'm really hope that this is making um making it worth your while. There's more to come. Uh, believe me, there's a lot of things happening, and I, I won't hope to disappoint any of you. So we're gonna move on to the next one. See you on the other side.